guys, happy Monday morning. Um, I'm slouching down to try to get light on me. There we go, can you see where I am? I have a few errands to run at Target and at Ulta, and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store, and then I'm going to go to the doctor so that I can no longer do this. Yes, I'm gonna pay someone to freeze my face. Um, I'm gonna give Botox another go. I, I did it almost a little more than two years ago. Can you believe it's been that long? And at the time I was like, I liked it and then I didn't like it and I said I wasn't gonna do it but I would again in the near future um, but I said I would never say never so I recently went out to lunch with a friend who was telling me about um, her uncle who is the plastic surgeon that I'm gonna go see and she was telling me how she needed to go get Botox redone and I looked at her and said you look great what do you need you know I don't see where you would need it. And she showed me a picture of her before when she had it. And I was like, whoa, okay. I need to see who did that to your face because there was a huge difference. So anyway, give it a go. It only lasts maybe three, four months top. So if I don't like it, it'll be gone before you know it. Um, it's not a permanent life altering decision. Anyway, I'm gonna go into Target and um, pick up some things and try to film as I'm in there. God, the sun. It's so bright, and yet it's so dark in my car. Things went very wrong in the dollar spot, and I'm blaming all of it on Christina from Pretty Shiny Sparkly. I watched her little vlog haul. The next thing I know, I'm loading up on pens and pencils and notepads, and I'm not... Actually, I'm a huge stationary freak. I'm not a planner decorating junkie, but... Anyway, so I will show you later when I get home. If you've watched her video, it should look familiar. And... Uh, Oh, I'm turning blue. That's interesting. I'm just out of Ulta, and I wanted to show you a little birthday present that I put together. This one is, is this hers or mine? This is hers. Is this the right one? Okay, so I wanted to get my friend, like, a, um, the Truth Foreshadow Bare Minerals palette. I don't actually own it, but I, everyone who has it loves it, and I thought she would love it. But, of course, Ulta's out of it. Shocker! So I thought, you know what, I'll put together a little eye palette look that I think she could use every day. So I got, I'll show you what I got. So I got the Physician's Formula Matte Collection. This is the Classic Nudes. I love this one. So I got this one for her to pair it with the Bare Minerals, I don't know why I'm showing you a box. It's Bare Minerals Top Shelf. I use this all the time. Focus on me. Um, it's, it, it's a very shimmery one's like more of a champagne color one's a little bit more taupey brown and i paired with this this will warm it up a little bit i think that's great and then for an eyeliner rimmel brown eyeliner my favorite and i picked up another one for me and the physician's formula was buy one get one free so this is the only one i don't own from them it's quartz quartet it's pretty cool toned but um I think there's some interesting colors here, so I'm going to give those a go, and then I will officially have owned all of the Physicians Formula um, little quads that they do. I think these are these matte collection quads are hands down probably the best drugstore matte shadows. Everyone, you should just buy all of them, and then you will pretty much have every neutral matte shade that you need. Um, so now it is off to the grocery store, and I am starving, which is not good when you go to a grocery store. So I'm trying to think like what I can eat what I can like buy right when I walk in the door and eat so that I don't eat and or buy stuff I don't need. I'm also really craving peeps because I just bought Michaela's kids um, a giant package each of peeps, the little marshmallow fluff. They're crunchy on the outside and then gooey on the inside. Oh my gosh. For a girl who doesn't celebrate Easter, I really enjoy the extraneous non-religious candy stuff. And like every good Jewish girl growing up, my mom would take us to the local gourmet candy store the day after Easter to buy all the discounted chocolate bunnies that needed a home in my tummy. So, Long Grove Confectionery, who knows that place? All you Chicago girls, raise your hand. All right, people are looking at me, I'm going to go now, bye. Hey guys, I'm back from grocery shopping and um, uh, my oldest son is having a study group over after school. They're working on a group project for AP Psych. I don't know what that could be, but anyway, um, I'm going to be a good mom, and I made brownies, or I'm about to make brownies. It is not all that hard. You just add eggs, water, and vegetable oil. Funfetti brownies. They looked interesting, so I'm going to pop these in the oven, and then, of course, the bonus is I get to lick the little bit that's left in the bowl. 
because you gotta live a little, right? And um, I'm gonna have a little hummus and pita for lunch, and then I'm gonna head over to the doctor's office where they can put toxins in my forehead. Okay, I wanted to show you real quickly what I picked up at Target, and also I want to talk about my lipstick. This is the mystery, one of the many mystery shades of the, as of yet, unnamed Clinique lipstick that I wasn't supposed to talk about, except I got an email, I subscribed to Pixie Woo's blog, and there it is, huge, a whole blog post about the Clinique new lip pops, which are available in the UK, but not here in the US yet. So this is part of that collection, and the shade I have on is called Fab Pop, and the minute it is available in the United States, I will let you know, because I will be getting in line to buy the, I have the prototype, but it's not the packaging that it's coming in. I've seen what the packaging looks like. It's amazing. So, um, I will be buying the real ones. But anyway, this is called Fab Pop. This is what I've had on all the time. And Michael said this is his favorite shade of lipstick on me, hands down. So, that being said, here's what I got. Um, so, if you've watched Christina from Pretty Shiny Sparkly, then some of this may look familiar. I got the... Pens. I don't even know if they're any good, but they're really cute. And because they're really cute, I know my sons will not steal them. I got some thank you notes, so um, I just, I think they're really pretty. And even the envelope has a little design on it, so that was nice. Never have too many thank you notes. Pencils, again, girly kind of colors, so my boys will not steal these either. A list. I really liked this because, can you see it has... Ooh, bad lighting. It has um, gold foil on there to do list. There's a little magnet on the back, which I will not utilize. Lint rollers. I'm gonna keep one in the car and maybe one in the kitchen. Okay, I'm going on a trip toward the end of April to Dallas with Michelle 1218. Ooh, I'm so excited. And we're gonna be gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So this is three days worth, well, six days or three days if you take pills in the morning and night, which I do. So this will be convenient little pill case. These are all a dollar. And then I don't know why I bought this. These are file folders. They're striped. These are the pink, pink they have pink ones and blue ones and maybe the middle one is green. Oh, they're cute. And I got a birthday card for my friend Becky. And then for Michaela's kids, for um, her son, I got blue peeps. And for her daughter, I got purple peeps. They didn't have pink ones in this size. And um, then I just walked past the clothing section. And you know I love the boyfriend tees. The, the brand is Massimo. Massimo Supply Company. They are super soft. And I got, um, what are they called specifically? VT. I got Hawaiian Blue. I got, I bought Pale Mint. This might work with that skirt who knows I'm obsessed with this color now and then I couldn't pass this up I got dazzle pink Woo, pink very bright uh, also the most exciting purchase bubble wrap so I can wrap everything and get it shipped because Mikayla will be here on Saturday and I want this package waiting for her when she checks it so that that is that I'm just gonna get another load of laundry in the dryer and then um, pack up and head to the doctor's office I don't We'll see. I mean, I, you watch the vlog and you'll see if I get to film in there or not. But this is my forehead before. Um, actually, Botox takes like a week, I think, to kick in. So I'll be able to do this for a while. Although I, I can't remember. I know they'll tell me when I get there. If after they do it, I think I'm not supposed to move my... I, there's rules. I'll let you know when I'm done. <laughs> I'll see you later. Hey guys, so I'm leaving the doctor's office. It's been about half an hour. Yeah, but it usually takes about five minutes. About half an hour, and I'm a little red, yeah. but not bad. And um, it's a little sore though. Can I take Advil when I get home? Sure. Okay. And um, feels good. I'm not going to wiggle my eyebrows or anything, but uh, keep me posted and let me know uh, if you see any changes in the next few days. I'm sure you will. I don't even have to ask. Hey guys, I think I'm going to cut the vlog short, although I don't think it's really that short. I'm back, and I honestly think, look at this. Okay, my hair looks weird. I don't know what's going on with my hair or makeup today. Um, I asked the doctor how long until I could see my, like, you know, forehead smoothing out, and he said, oh, probably a couple of hours, and I thought, no way, because the one time I did it before it took days. And he says, no, I inject it pretty deep into the muscle. You'll probably see results pretty quickly. I think I can see a difference. Like, this line that's always really annoying me, it's almost gone. 
Anyway, we shall see, but I'm gonna cut it short because like I said earlier, my son is expecting about five or six kids over for a group project and then it's dinner time and I really can't vlog while all these people are in the house and um, minors and such. So I'm gonna cut it short. I wanna talk about my makeup real quickly. I'm not liking it at all today, just so you know, but I will still list it in the description box below for those of you who might. Um, I'm, I tried out the IT Cosmetics. I used to, I bought it, what, like a year or so ago and tried it and didn't love it. Trying it again, the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. Still don't like it. It was so dewy and just shiny on me and I really tried to mattify it. And then um, I used this a Stila palette that's still available at Nordstrom. Really pretty colors. It's the purple box, light la like lavender box from the old formulas. Um, those are all still available at um, Nordstrom, by the way. My all-time favorite palette ever is the Stila in the Light palette. And apparently you can still get that at Nordstrom, but not at Ulta or Sephora. Um, I will link both of those below. And um, I don't know, it's still on my lips. If, if the Clinique Fab Pop is still on there. This is my new shirt from Target. I'm wearing a tank, which is probably, I should be wearing a camisole, but whatevs. And this is my new um, necklace that I got from, that I bought from Bobble Bar that showed up. So yay. And, um... That's it. So that was it for today. I'm going to just sit here and enjoy the lovely breeze and pretty blue skies and wait for five to six probably slightly stinky teenagers to show up at my house. So I will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. We're in the last week of March Mayhem, so thanks for sticking with me. I'll see you then. Bye. Good morning. We are headed to Rosella. Is it Rosella? Rosella. It's one of our new favorite coffee shops. It's uh, kind of... It's downtown, but north side of downtown, near the San Antonio Art Museum.